Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Rewind, and I'm back with a long-awaited character guide for that boy Kane. If you guys have already watched the other guides I've made, which were Johnny Cage and Liu Kang, I would need no introduction, but for those who haven't, I'm a professional MK11 player, decorated MK11 player, two-time world finalist, and EVO champion, and I am from the United States. <laughs> Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and be sure to check out the website for all things FGC. Stick around until the end of the video to see which character guides coming up next. Alright, I'm going to go over all of Kano's best single hitting buttons. And first on the list we got Stand 1. Stand 1 is good because it's an 8 frame normal. So a lot of the times when a character does something punishable and you're not sure what to punish with, you can really count on Stand 1 to get you the punish. Back one, back one is his armor break. It's a mid, but the main purpose of back one that's good is because it's an armor break. So if the opponent tries to break away, you do back one, breaks the armor, and in return, you get pretty good damage. Forward one, it's a forward advancing mid. Honestly, probably his best button overall because you'll see Kano's, especially me, throwing that button out a lot due to it going so far also plus one on block so it makes for a good stagger down one pretty basic nothing too special about it it's a pretty fast poke has decent range good on hit stand two uh similar to stand one stand two is just another button that is pretty good to go for when an opponent does something punishable and you're just not too sure what to punish with uh stand two is nine frames stand one is eight frames Stand 2 does more damage than Stand 1, so if you want a little bit more damage for a Punisher, you should use Stand 2. You got Back 3. Back 3 is good because it has a crushing blow on it. And the requirement is counter hit. So if you catch an opponent swinging and you hit him with Back 3, you're going to get a crushing blow and it deals bleed damage. If you guys don't know what bleed, aka dot damage is, if you look at the top right, you'll see the health bar slowly melting away. 4-3, I like 4-3 because when you do the move, it, his hitbox low profile. So if an opponent throws a projectile at you, for example, and you do 4-3, you'll go right under it. Possibly punish them, get a get a nice little knockdown. The only thing that sucks about it is it's punishable on block. Down 4, down 4 is another poke. It's very good because it's super plus on hit and it goes a little further than down 1. And the good thing about down one and down four is they both are tick throwable into his command grab. Forward four, have that as a pretty decent button for him because it's an overhead. If you catch an opponent sleeping or just crouch blocking too much, you could go ahead and throw in an overheader just to make sure they wake up and block their head every now and again. And we got his sweep. His sweep actually goes pretty far, not going to lie. And it low profiles his hitbox. So if you catch an opponent just, you know, sitting there stand blocking all day and because he's not worried about any lows, you just dash up and just hit him with a nice little sweep, get a knockdown and go in. So for the most part, Kano's down two is probably his most reliable anti-air. Stand one is a pretty decent anti-air, but he tends to get beat out by jump ins and jump kicks. But, you know, stand one is a good anti-air if you're trying to go for a full combo. But then again, that's at your own risk of getting stuffed. Down two can get stuffed, but probably get stuffed a little less than uh, Stan 1. Honestly, Kano's most reliable anti-air, aside from maybe his down 2, would have to be simply just flawless block up to the opponent's jump attacks, because at least that way you know that if they jump at you and you successfully land at the flawless block, they're going to get punished for jumping. As far as Kano's neutral buttons go, easily I would have to say his back 3, his forward three and his sweep and his forward one are all of his best neutral buttons. His forward one being because it goes so dang far and it's plus on block. His back three goes really far. It's a mid, so an opponent trying to neutral duck is going to get hit because it's a mid. His sweep goes really far and it's a low and it's safe, especially from that distance. So that's why that's good and forward three is good. 
because if the opponent even tries to throw a projectile, you can simply just 4 3 under it. Kano's the best variation setup and probably most popular, especially because of me and the performance I put on at Wii Play. Biomagnetic pull, lumbar check, and chemical burn. Biomagnetic pull, it's a 14 frame mid that pulls the opponent in for a full combo if they get hit. Lumbar check is his command grab, and it's really good because on hit it does 13, and if you EX it does 18. And chemical burn is great because it deals dot damage, as you can see the opponent's health bar is slightly melting. And if you amplify it, it throws out a lighter on the ground, and if the opponent walks into it while the acid is on them, they get lit up, and it's an unblockable. So a good little game plan with Kano to do is throw out forward one, two, back two, and do down one. A lot of people get hit by that because they don't, either don't know it's plus two, or they know it's plus two, and they're just choosing to mash, and you'll never beat him because he's plus two and his down was eight frames, unless you just so happen to be Garrison or Sub-Zero and have a six frame down one. So forward one, two, back two, down one acid is a very good little, you know, little frame trap you could do with Kano. He catches a lot of people. And meanwhile, he has all these amazing buns in forward advancing. You could just throw out a random command grab. The opponent's so scared to get hit because all these buttons easily hit confirm in the bio pool. Don't be afraid to throw in a little command grab. And by the way, earlier in the video, I said his pokes are great because they tick throw into command grab. If you don't know what tick throw is, tick throw is when you do down one into command grab. So you special cancel your down one into command grab and the opponent gets thrown. Same with his down four. And also Kano has a pretty good projectile with his little knife toss. So you can zone the opponent out if you want to. But for the most part, yeah, I would just rush in with Kano, throw out a bunch of these plus frame buttons, throw out some command grabs when you get the opponent scared and they start blocking. All right, now we're gonna get into Kano's best strings for pressure or just offense in general. Earlier we got into Kano's best single hitting attacks. Now we're getting into his strings. 1-1. One, one. I like 1-1 one, one because as you can see, it's a good stagger because he has a string which is 1-1-2, one, one, which you could finish, and it's also a plus. Thing is, it has a flawless blockable gap in between, so that's the only flaw. But the thing I like about 1-1 one, one is you can tick throw your command grab. So if the opponent is just sitting there super afraid, don't be afraid to just throw in the 1-1 one, one tick throw. 1-1-2. One, one, like I said, 112 is amazing because it's a plus on block string, but it sadly has a flawless block will get. So once the opponent is scared of you doing one one command grab, you could just finish the string a couple times and they'll probably get hit. Forward one two. I like forward one two because it's a pretty decent stagger. A lot of the a lot of people don't actually see the stagger coming because a lot of people are always expecting you to finish the string. Sometimes I just like to stagger the string, sometimes backdash after it to catch them trying to poke or whiff a poke. And the best string by far that Kano has, which recently got buffed, but unfortunately still whiffs on a couple of characters, but doesn't whiff on the entire roster like it originally did. It's forward one, two, back two. It is a forward advancing mid. It's also the first two hits are very confirmable into bio pool. So if you see your opponent get hit by four, one, two, you can hit confirm into bio pool. If you see them block it, you can just finish the string and remain plus two. We got two, 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 two is a high mid. And it is an amazing string because if an opponent does something punishable, this is probably his most damaging starter. Well, at least fast starter because stand two is nine frames. I think it's a better punish than stand one because it does more damage, but stand one is one frame faster at eight frames. We got two four. I like two four because it also tick throws to his command grab. You'll see a lot of Kano players throw this string out. Sometimes I like throwing it in from a distance, like all the way over here. And also a good thing about 2, 4, and 1, 1, the fact that both of them tick throw into command grab, is you can also do 1, 1 acid. And that'll hit people trying to duck the command grab or try to jump the command grab. So if you hit them with enough, you know, command grabs, do 1, 1 acid, do 2, 4 acid. A lot of people get hit by that. So mixing up 2, 4, command grab, and 2, 4 acid is a really good mind game. So a flaw with Kano, and probably his only flaw, without this flaw, he probably a top 5 character, is like I said, his forward 1, 2, back 2 is his best string because it's hit confirmable and it's plus 2 on block and no gap. But unfortunately on around 5 or 5 plus characters, the spit part of this string whiffs. As you can see, he does a little spit for the second hit. He doesn't whiff on Sub-Zero, but on around 5 plus characters, for example, Johnny Cage, Jackie Briggs, Joker, Katana, Nightwolf, the string just whiffs on them and with that being said those characters can literally full combo punish him for doing his best string 
So that's probably the biggest flaw with Kano, unfortunately. But if you're a good player, you can try to work around it. I'm gonna go over some combos and optimals mid screen and in the corner that you guys can do with Kano. And I'm also gonna gift you guys the amazing unblockable setup that I've done on multiple people in tournaments that puts the fear in people when you put them in the corner with Kano. All right, guys, I'm going to give you the real dirt with Kano. Doing this combo, it leaves you in a restand position that's super advantageous on block. I'm pretty sure I fucked that up and said that wrong, but advantageous, meaning just super plus on hit. So anytime you do this setup, the opponent is basically forced to block. And I'll show you that right now. So basically, you end your combo in down one acid amplify. So when you do back one acid amplify, it leaves you in the perfect spacing to throw the lighter so that the lighter whiffs and hits the ground and lights them on fire and it's an unblockable. So make sure if you hit back two and do back one, you do acid amplify and wait for the lighter to hit the ground. And once they get lit up, the opponent has to block. I'll show you what I mean. And the thing that's cheap about this setup is anytime you hit them with acid while the flame is under them, they'll instantly get unblockable again and they have to block all over again while taking all that dot damage. I'll show you guys an example. So that jumping I'm doing, you guys are probably like, why is he doing a jumping before he does that? It's because I'm so plus on hit that the opponent still is forced to block that jump in. Once I hit them with this acid, I get a free jump in. They can't anti me. They have to block. That's going to wrap up the Kano guide, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. And by the way, if you haven't already watched the Johnny Cage and Luke Kane guide that already came out. If you guys want to keep up with me, my handle is Ru1NV on basically everything, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or a comment below with your thoughts. I appreciate you guys for watching. I know this will be my fourth character, but my next character guide will be.